Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirituality with Gabriella. So today what I'm going to be doing is a quick forecast for the month of April for all of the 12 zodiac signs. So you may have noticed I don't typically do zodiac readings simply because I think there are so many people within one single sun sign and it's hard to say if you are X sun sign then Y will happen to you or this thing will be coming up in particular. However, I am going to give it a try today. And so if you like this, please make sure to comment down below so I know that you enjoy it and so I can do a longer form video in the future. So today I'm going to be pulling just two cards for each sign, starting at the top with Aquarius. And the two decks I'm using today are the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck, which looks like this. And then I'm also going to be using an oracle deck. This is the energy oracle deck, which looks like this. So without further ado, I'm going to start at Aquarius and please find your timestamp down below. All right. Thank you so much. So Aquarius, welcome to your reading. So let's see what April holds in store for you. Just going to pull an energy oracle card as well. So Aquarius, you got two cards. You have the devil here, and you also have the garden and the gate. So I'm going off of my intuition. Here's what I get. I get that this month is actually successful for you. I think that you are bringing in new opportunities and new possibilities. When we see the devil though, there is a tendency to mentally constrain yourself and mentally constrict yourself a little bit this month. You are being a little bit too hard on yourself at times and it's because you're such an innovative person. So it's going to be important to kind of wind back Make sure that you take a second, make sure that you are filling yourself with self-love, not self-doubt. When we see the garden and the gate here, to me, this is bringing in new possibilities. This is also opening the door to new things. I think many of you are actually looking for a new career. I'm getting a lot of job stuff with you. I think your relationships are going to be fairly stable this month, so I don't see a lot of movement in that space, but I see career movement for many of you. So make sure that you're staying focused, make sure you're staying positive, and above all, positive self-affirmations are going to be really important for you this month. So with that, I wish you guys so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Pisces, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to shuffle your cards here, and I'm just pulling two to see what comes through for you about this month. Okay, and then I'm going to pull an energy oracle card as well. This month for you, Pisces, is all about balance. So you have the Two of Swords here. You also have Yin and Yang. Okay, so with the Two of Swords, what I'm getting is there is going to be a little bit of stagnation. It is going to feel a little bit like not moving very quickly, and that is going to feel frustrating. And I'm sorry because I know it's not the most happy, fun message, but there's something in your life that is moving a little bit slower than how you actually want it to. I think with some of you, this is actually a romantic interest. For others of you, it's something more around finances, and finances are feeling a little bit slower than how you want, but know that it's okay. This month is going to be a lot about getting back to balance, making sure that you have a positive daily routine, making sure that you are winding down at night and not putting too much pressure on yourself. Make sure that what you're doing is really focused on protecting your energy this month, and I especially would advise going to Reiki. I feel like this month is going to be a month where you actually kind of tune within more, so I advise not to hang out with too many people, not to be talking to too many different folks all around because it's just going to feel like too much of an energy drain. Make sure that you're taking time to yourself. I'm also getting a lot about water, which makes sense with Pisces. Make sure you are going to water if you can go to the ocean, if you can take long showers. That is really going to help you this month and going to be really, really beneficial. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, and I hope this gave you some clarity and guidance. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, Aries, welcome to your monthly forecast. So I'm going to shuffle your cards, and I'm going to pull two, and let's see what comes through. 
Happy, happy birthday, by the way. Many of you have already had birthdays, others of you still yet to come. The energy feels positive, and usually it does feel quite positive around the time of your birthday. Okay, so we have two conflicting messages. Here we have the Five of Cups, and here we have Blossoming Abundance. Um, what I'm getting for you guys, Aries, is that there's something that feels a little slow in the beginning of the month, and it feels kind of like a slow lean into the month. And this might even feel a bit weird because sometimes when it's around your birthday time, you're usually happy and you want to rev up. But I think in some places, this is additional restrictions for COVID. In other cases, it's actually being further away from family, friends, not really being able to see the people that you love and feeling a little bit disconnected. But what I want you to know is with blossoming abundance, we are seeing a lot of positivity coming for you this month. We are seeing just being showered with love, showered with gratitude. And I feel like that really gets you back into the space that you need to be. So even if you kind of start the month with a little bit of a funk, it doesn't actually matter because by the end of this month, you are going to be feeling so much more confident, so much more in an open, positive, accepting space. And that is what I would really like you all to focus on. I'm also getting some messages about dancing, specifically fun dancing. I'm thinking like salsa dancing or um, I don't know what it's called, barache. There's some kind of other form of dance. So some of you might be getting into movement, um, things where you're really physically exercising, but you're trying something new. And I feel like that's really helpful for you this month. And that really helps to expand your aura. I'm also getting a lot about the root chakra, which makes sense with Aries because it's red. It has a lot to do with your identity, your tribe, how you connect to other people and family members and friends. So make sure that you are exercising, make sure you are staying closely connected to others and just soak in the love that's coming from all around because you deserve it and this is your month to celebrate. All right, I hope this gave you some clarity and guidance and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. All right, Taurus, welcome to your reading. So I'm just going to pull a couple of cards for you and let's see what comes through here. Okay. All right, so you have the King of Wands here. You also have Goddess of the Moon as your energy oracle card. So with King of Wands, this energy feels positive to me. I feel like a lot of you are becoming more involved in shopping, um, kind of tuning within, trying to shop, trying to comfort yourself in many ways. I somehow feel like last month was hard for many of you. Maybe there was a lot of stuff that went on with family members, a lot of health issues that happened around you, um, maybe even unexpected events that kind of came up. This month is much more positive. It is definitely a shift in the right direction. Also, we are in your birthday month, which is positive for many of you, so that's exciting. So happy birthday in advance. With Goddess of the Moon, I feel like this month you are going to be getting more messages. You are going to be feeling more intuitive. There's going to be things that happen to you that you don't necessarily expect, but they do mean something. Like you'll be walking down the road or the street and you see a little feather, and it's a sign from your spirit guides and your angels. They want you to know that they're there. They want you to know that this is a positive time for growth for many of you. I think some of you have been going through a lot of change. I'm seeing change in context, especially changing locations. For some of you, changing jobs, not for all of you, but for some of you. And it feels like a lot of change, a lot of adaptation, and always having to be on your two feet and really always having to run behind these changes. So know that things are going to get better. This month is going to feel a lot more exciting and idea driven and make sure that you look out for those signs because you are being supported from your spirit guides and your angels. So I hope that this helped you. I hope it gave you some clarity and guidance and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. All right, Gemini, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards for you here. Ooh, you got, wow. Okay, Gemini, this is an amazing month for you. So you have the 10 of cups here. 
You also have the door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, so when we see these two cards together, this is a rare, unique, fantastic combination. Ten of Cups, I feel that this month is full of love. It's full of abundance in many respects. It feels like you're really able to enjoy your relationships this month. Some of you have been with your partner and kind of been together during COVID all the time, and it feels like you're actually coming closer together, enjoying each other's company, which is good. It also feels like you have some friends who you're just getting closer with. You're texting them more, talking to them more. It feels like the bonds are strengthening, which is good. I'm getting something about animals. I think some of you are adopting a cat or a dog. It would be a small animal, quite young, something cute, something fluffy. So that's exciting. So I feel like a lot of good stuff happening this month. And it doesn't really feel like too much is changing in your life in terms of career or relationships, but it does feel like just a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, being able to soak in the fun, the good atmosphere, being able to connect with people you love. Door to personal healing and happiness. What I think is that many of you are making strides towards getting to the life that you really envision for yourself and the life that you want for yourself. A lot of you have ideas about where you wanna be in three years time or five years time. It feels like this month, is very conducive to starting to really manifest some of that. So make sure that you are manifesting this month. Make sure you are doing your visualization exercises because the energy is really working with you and it's kind of pushing and propelling you forward. So it feels very positive and I wish you all the best. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Cancer, welcome to your reading. So I'm just gonna pull some cards for you all here and see what is coming through for you this month. One from the Energy Oracle card deck as well. Amazing, this is a good month for you, Cancer. So we have the Page of Cups here. We also have the Sun. This is beautiful, honestly, amazing combination. Page of Cups, I feel like a lot of you are diving deep into your creativity this month. I'm seeing things like writing, painting, artistry, calligraphy, do-it-yourself projects, stuff like that. I feel like you're going to be getting more creative, getting more intuitive this month. You might also be feeling a little bit more emotional, but I think it's okay because it feels like positive stuff and it feels like something good is coming to you. For some of you, we have the sun here and it feels like a new opportunity is on the horizon. I think for some of you, this is with career. For others though, it is actually meeting someone new or at least deepening your relationship with a romantic interest or someone who you kind of don't know fully yet, but someone who you're quite interested and curious about. So that's really exciting. I also think that all of the work you do this month with the sun, there is a positive, shining, abundant influence upon it. So people are going to be viewing you very positively. They are gonna be thinking that you're just going above and beyond. It sounds weird to say it this way, but it kind of feels like even if you were working as hard as you normally work, not any harder, people would think, oh my gosh, this person is just killing it and this person is doing a great job. So soak all of that in and definitely make the most of it because you will be getting a lot of recognition at this time and this is a good time to make any major changes in your life. For example, getting into a new relationship, changing your job, accepting offers, accepting opportunities. You're gonna be coming across people who wanna work with you more this month and people are going to see you very positively, which is great. So I get a lot of abundance. I get a lot of new opportunities. There's a lot of newness here. So make sure you're looking out for it and make sure that you are really harnessing your creativity. I'm also seeing reading for you guys. So make sure that you are taking time to read, especially things like biographies, stories from the greats, stories from people who have charted a path and been an entrepreneur and done amazing things. I feel like that is really gonna help inspire you this month. So make sure that you are focusing on that. 
So I hope this gave you some clarity and guidance today, and I will see you all in the next video. Leo, welcome to your reading. So I'm just going to pull some cards for you here and see what comes through about your month. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, and you got Rest and Rejuvenation. Okay, so with the Queen of Pentacles, Leo, you already are a leader. You're the type of person who knows how to be practical. You know how to be financially abundant. It doesn't mean that you don't do frivolous things. Sometimes you do buy things that you don't really need. Sometimes, especially, you get things like clothes. I'm seeing belts, shoes, jewelry for some of you. But it feels like this month your finances are good. You are able to save more than normal and you are able to be smarter about your finances and about how you're spending your money, which is really good. With rest and rejuvenation here, what I'm getting is a need to kind of wind it back and relax. I feel like a lot of you have been jumping from place to place to place to place or meeting to meeting. And so it might not be a physical jump that you're making, but you're doing a lot of context switching, going from one thing to the next. Some of you are visiting family um, close by as well or taking drives. So make sure that you are putting less pressure on yourself in terms of making your schedule a little bit less busy. I also am seeing something about your back. So make sure that you are getting a massage this month. Make sure you are doing the Epsom salt baths and that kind of stuff. It's gonna be really important to get into a space of relaxation in order to do your most focused work and the work that speaks to you most. The last thing I'm gonna say with the Queen of Pentacles is it feels like this month, a lot of your thoughts can become very practical and translate into a product or some kind of strategy. So if you're having thoughts that kind of float around your head, make sure you write them down, make sure you put them down on paper. I am seeing things like writing, I'm seeing things like strategy, vision, number crunching, really making sure that you can translate those insights practically. So that's something I would really like you all to focus on this month. And then the last thing I'm going to say is always tell yourself to think bigger. You have a tendency sometimes to be practical, but it can kind of keep you in a little bit of a box. So this month, try to push yourself a little bit and ask yourself, how can I 10x this? How can I get to the next level? All right, so I hope this helped you. I hope it gave you some clarity and guidance, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Virgo, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards for you here and see what comes through about this month in particular. We got the Hierophant, no surprise. This is the Energy Oracle deck, so let's see what comes through here. All right, so pretty clear message here. You have the Hierophant. You also have action. So this is how it feels to me. Virgo, you already are somebody who is very focused on your work. You're very focused on being intellectual, also on ideas and understanding the critical elements behind stories and events. What I feel like is this month is a really good time for you to take that practicality and use it as a framing for future opportunities and for planning every single week. So I know that sounds a little bit menial, but there's something about how you can actually take your inspiration and really plan and really make sure that you are living up to your own expectations which are of course very high. So make sure that you're doing stuff like creating checklists for yourself, to-do lists, habit tracking, planning things. I'm even seeing writing down the hours that you're gonna work before you start work that day, for example. And so I feel like just really being clear on your routine and making sure that you're very focused on your habits is really gonna help you this month. With the Hierophant, we also have this energy of teaching learning, growing, helping other people. So this month you may actually feel pulled to kind of do some community service. This could be something that is virtual. It could be 
teaching, it could even be doing a role on Upwork or offering your services in that way. So you could get paid for it, but what I'm seeing is you have an amazing ability to really focus and execute this month. With this card, Action, feels like a lot is happening for you. I feel that some things have been slow. I'm getting kind of like a hanged man type of vibe. It feels like you have been kind of hitting a wall a little bit with maybe your routine, your career, and perhaps even other things. So action, I'm gonna expect that a lot of that stuff is gonna speed up this month. Towards the end of the month though, is when it feels like things are actually gonna be faster. So make sure that you are prepared for that because it's going to happen fairly quickly. Make sure that you are kind of buckling up your seatbelt and you're ready to just go, 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 go because there's going to be stuff that happens for you and it kind of feels like, oh my gosh, this came out of nowhere or it feels like everything is happening at once, but it feels like positive stuff. The final thing I'm getting is something about science. Some of you are somehow involved in science. If that is the case for you, this would be a message to just make sure you embrace that and make sure that you really focus on that this month. It's going to be important for you in some shape or form. All right, so I hope this gave you guys some clarity and guidance and thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Libra, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards for you here and see what's coming through for the month ahead. You got the Queen of Swords. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. So you have the Queen of Swords here. You also have the Door to Value. This is exciting. With the Queen of Swords, I feel like you are, of course, a balanced person by nature. That is part of your chart and it is part of your sign. However, the Queen of Swords requires you to be a little bit more critical, a little bit more strategic. And whenever I see this card, I instantly think of drawing boundaries. You are a very kind person. People find you to be very personable and so they often seek you out. But this month, I'm seeing more of a need to get really practical and really go within. And so that might mean taking a night to journal or watch a movie instead of talking to friends. And I know that we're already in COVID, so it's not like you're seeing people all the time necessarily, but people might seek out your help and just be mindful of not taking on too much. I'm also seeing a lot around the home life. Some of you might have gone into a new apartment this month or in previous months and you're still kind of setting it up. So make sure that you're focused on that. Make sure that you are making your home as cozy as possible. I feel like that will really help you for some reason. Door to value. When we see this, I'm getting the sense that a lot of you have gotten a bonus recently. It could be something like your company decided to pay you um, almost kind of on a whim. It might be something that they're even doing on an organizational level. So you might kind of fall into money this month, which is good. And for many of you, this is actually early on in the month, or it might have even been the last week or so of March. But it feels like money is coming or at least money has kind of flown into your bank account. So that's good. And while it's not tons of money, it's enough money where you feel more stable and more secure than normal. For those of you who have children this month, it feels like really want to take the time to bond with them. I'm getting something about agitation um, for some of your children. I think it's just a difficult time and they're gonna need your attention even more than normal. So make sure that you are spending time with them, make sure you are playing with them, and that you just have that bonding time because they're really gonna need you. Others of you, now is a really good time to think about your vision for the future. You might even consider making a bit of a vision map for yourself mapping out how you want things to look three months down the line, five months down the line, eight months down the line, maybe even 10 months down the line. When we see this Queen of Swords energy, vision, logic, and strategy are going to be big for you this month. So make sure that you are using that energy in order to plan out a path ahead, basically, and how things can look for you, because I think it's going to be very positive, and I feel really excited for you. So it feels like you're able to hone the money aspect of things as well as kind of think about your future and that's what I would really like you to focus on this month is marrying those two things together. So I hope this gave you some clarity and guidance and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye bye. Scorpio, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards for you and see what's coming through for you this month. This one is funny because I'm a Scorpio, so it kind of feels like reading for myself. But let's see what happens. All right, so I have Knight of Swords here. And I also have Journey. So what I'm getting with the Knight of Swords is you are really focused on your intellect this month. There's a lot about writing, there's a lot about creativity, but it's not creativity that is existing kind of up here and nothing's coming of it. I feel like this month you are more focused on getting things done. There is a determined energy when we see the Knight of Swords and I feel like you are not going to take any BS. It kind of feels like I am not going to deal with all of this fluffy stuff anymore. I am ready to focus. I am ready to execute. So I feel like this month is definitely going to help you move towards your goals, which is good. And use this positive force and this positive energy to make sure that you are really channeling momentum towards your goals. I feel like some of you this month are going to be able to make things very quickly. So think about the little projects you're doing as MVPs and kind of put them out there and get feedback fairly early on. You don't need to wait a long time to get feedback. It's very important that you just put it out there. You don't need to hesitate this month. This month is not about slowness. This month is actually about just charging ahead with force, even if it feels hard. Because what I'm getting is at the beginning of the month, you might be having self-doubts, you might be feeling a little bit slow, a little bit less motivated. I know certainly I have resonated with that energy at least for this month so far. But with the Knight of Swords, this is a practical, determined, charismatic energy, and it's really gonna help you to use it. With Journey, so this is literal and figurative. When we see this literally, you might actually decide to take a road trip. You might actually decide to go somewhere else physically and kind of get out of the area that you've been in. I feel some of you are starting to feel a little bit stifled with being in the same place. So it would really benefit you to go outside, make sure you're doing walks and hikes and that type of stuff. But also you might even take a weekend trip this month or be preparing for a trip that's coming in the future. Many of you might be booking your flights for some kind of holiday, vacation, or celebration that is coming in the future. Journey to me is actually not yet about career. I feel this comes a little bit later for some of you, but to me this is about your mental shift and mental state. I feel you are becoming very serious about self-development and self-growth. Some things are hard that you are working through, and that is true, but you are becoming serious about solving those things and looking at them head on. And the thing that's really positive is this month you make leaps and bounds in terms of what it means for you to be a balanced person, what it means for you to have a routine. And so I feel that you have made amazing progress, even already, in the first few days of the month. But by the end of the month, you are really in a different place psychologically, and it feels that much more positive and that much more creative as well. So I hope this gave you some clarity and guidance. I wish you guys all the best, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards for you and see what comes through here. And these are your energy oracle cards that I'm just shuffling now. Okay, interesting cards. Okay, so the first one is a little harder. We got the Eight of Swords here, but then we got Woman Holding a Heart. Interesting energy. With the Eight of Swords, I'm actually not getting extreme constriction. I think that what this is is self-doubt, and I think it feels like you might have lost something. If some of you interviewed for a job and didn't get it, if there has been some kind of slowness with that type of stuff, don't worry, it's going to be okay. It feels like the stars are shifting and aligning and there is going to be more movement down the line. So I know it's it's normal to feel trapped and many of you will feel trapped just because of how things feel for you energetically right now, 
but what I'm getting is it's definitely going to shift. So know that it's just for a set period of time and it's not going to take that much longer. When we see the Eight of Swords, I feel it's very important to balance out your thinking. So on the one hand, you are instantly going to think, oh, this feels constricting, this feels hard, this feels challenging. Whenever you have that type of thought, I would really like you to be deliberate about having a positive thought. And it's almost like having that equal and opposite force is really going to help you make the most of this month and help shift you more quickly into a state of happiness and joy and positivity. The woman holding a heart is really interesting. So it's actually quite rare that I pull this card. This card has to do with love, it has to do with romance as well as compassion. If you are not in a relationship currently, feels like towards the middle of this month, I would say around the 14th through 15th, is a really good time to meet somebody. And I'm seeing online dating for some of you, so if you're interested in that, definitely get yourself on the apps because it feels like there's some excitement there and it feels like you might kind of push through the boundary that you have been coming up against, which is really good. I feel that for some of you, there is a fruitful relationship coming in and there is some kind of energy which feels more secure, more warm, more caring. So I feel like this month you get a lot of comfort from other people. And for me, this is actually a romantic thing. So one of the only groups, honestly, where I have felt like, oh yeah, it really feels like romance in some shape or form. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you're looking forward to it. If you're already in a relationship, I see this as you tending to the relationship. You know, perhaps you have had other stuff going on. Perhaps you've been really busy and not really putting a lot of effort into the relationship. But this month, it feels like you are a gardener and a cultivator of the relationship, so things will be feeling a lot better for you. So I hope this helped, and I hope it gave you some clarity and guidance, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Capricorn, welcome to your reading. So I'm just going to pull some quick cards for you guys and see what is coming through for you this month. Wow, so you have the Knight of Pentacles here, and you also have Healer of the Ages. So what I'm getting is you are a grounded person by nature, and when we see Knight of Pentacles, that is definitely an energy that comes through. Knight of Pentacles is about determination over a period of time. Things can feel slow, things can feel hard, it can feel like a long haul, but there is planning, there is determination, there is no sense of giving up here. So I really don't think that you have been in a negative mindset, it actually feels that you're fairly positive as you're watching this reading. Um, just keep being positive. I feel like you are unlocking things spiritually this month which are very important to you. Some of you are doing work with past life regression and really digging deep into soul work this month. It is an excellent time to do it. When we see Healer of the Ages, this is a sure sign that spirituality is going to be something that you're really going to want to focus on because the energy is supporting you and bringing you to a lighter place and it's also a really good month to let go of baggage. It doesn't feel like there's too, too much, but of course all of us have different loads that we carry and it feels like this month it's really beneficial to take a concerted effort to just let go of that baggage. Past life regression, Reiki, even writing things down on a piece of paper and burning it or even submerging it in water and letting it break up into little pieces and saying, I let this go, that's going to be really helpful for you. Also, make sure that you are staying fully in tune with the cycles of the moon. There's something about the moon cycles that affect you more this month than other signs, which is really interesting. So make sure that you are bringing new things in when it's the new moon, letting things go when it is the full moon. That's really going to help you. Healer of the Ages, I'm getting a Jesus-like vibe when I look at this card. So what I'm seeing is that you are able to be more spiritual this month as well as more idea-driven and you can channel those ideas into your creativity, your practicality, 
and also just your being. And so it feels like your aura is growing this month, which is really good. And I see you taking other people along the journey with you. If there are people in your family, close friends, relatives, people who are not as in tune with their spiritual side, it feels like this month you are the shepherd that can kind of collect those people and bring them with you along the journey. So this could be something as simple as ordering a tarot reading and getting one for your mom at the same time, for example, or it could be something like posting a YouTube video and talking about your experience with Reiki. So regardless of what it, what it is, make sure that you spend the time to focus spiritually because it's really going to help you. The other areas of your life feel good in terms of career, in terms of romance. I personally am not seeing major change, but it feels stable, which is good. I'm getting something about fruit. I feel like some of you are either getting really into healthy eating or just need to be nudged to eat a little bit more healthy this month. So remember that and take that as a sign. And I'm seeing grapes in particular. So if that means anything to any of you, then there you go. That would be the message for you. Maybe it has something to do with healthy eating or even wine. I don't know. So I hope this helps you. I hope it gives you some clarity and guidance. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for taking the time with me to figure out your monthly energy forecast. I hope it helped you. That's the first time I've done Zodiac forecasts on my channel. So let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you would like more in the future. I understand they were fairly short. So if you would like more in-depth versions or even full readings for each of the signs, do let me know. It will definitely help me. All right. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.